What's up guys, it's Matt from friendswithmatt.com and yes I am making another video as I walk to 7-Eleven. Alright, so this is Dallas, Texas and see my house is over here in the corner up in the top right corner. Yeah, that's my house and I am now walking over to the 7-Eleven which is right here. Because Maggie and Lupe are working today. I want to go say hi to Maggie and Lupe. I love those girls. Please, oh, yes, please use your butt to entertain me. Do your thing. Yes, yes, yes. Please use your butt to entertain me. I like that, like that, like that, like that. This is how excited I am to see them. I'm literally running. Well, I'm still walking to 7-Eleven. I haven't gotten there yet, but hey, Big Daddy! Oh my gosh, I just recognized one of my friends in public. Oh my goodness, I love my friends! I gotta go say hi to him right now! Big Daddy! I think I just saw one of the, I think this is one of the employees right here, actually. Big Daddy! Isn't that Big Daddy from 7-Eleven? And it was at this moment right here where I realized that I might be hollering and screaming at a random person on the street <laughs> who's not actually my friend. Can you imagine if someone came up to you running and screaming? Wait. Uh-oh. That might have been someone else. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I might have just done one of the weirdest things of all time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going so fast. I'm going so fast. I'm going so. You're never gonna catch me. They're never gonna catch me. Cause I never did anything I wasn't supposed to. Um, yeah, baby. I just ran to 7 Eleven. Winner, winner, winner. I'm a freaking winner. Let's go. Friends, I really am a winner, and I think we're having this issue where some of y'all can't handle it. <laughs> if that's not the most egotistical thing to say of all time, then please, where's my freaking trophy? Charlie Sheen? Bring my trophy to me, Charlie Sheen! Anyway, shout out to Dave Chappelle. And Steve Carell. I'm still rapping. Anyway, y'all, some of you guys can't handle Matt. And it breaks my heart because I don't want to lose a friend. But that's what's happening right now is some of you can't handle me. You can't handle my energy, my, how extreme I am. I just ran to 7 Eleven. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. Is, is Lupe here? Lupe is in the building. Let's go. Lupe! It's so good to see you. I mean, look at that smile. Look at that smile. She is so pretty. I, oh, I like looking at Lupe. I'm not actually here to see Lupe. Well, I am kind of here to see Lupe, but also really, I came to get a Diet Dr. Pepper. Where's Diet Dr. Pepper? A diet of no, there's no diet. Oh, there is diet of pepper. Oh, good. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Mills, yes, I like mills with big fake tits. Yes, 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 yes. I know it's a little bit embarrassing, a little maybe too personal, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's what's on my mind and I guess what I gotta do Confess to your I'm into Mills I am into Mills Two of them, two for four So anyway y'all, this is a vlog This is what it's like to be me Tons of energy all the time Okay, so now I have to film my entire interaction with Lupe She's smiling this is my least favorite angle to see my face. Like literally, I hate when I'm editing videos and uh, I have to look at myself and I see myself with this, from this angle right here. 
I cannot stand it. Urgh! Why do I look like that? Is that seriously how I look like? Oh, God. <laughs> lupe, lupe, lupe. <laughs> Don't zoom into my stomach. <laughs> Lupe's in the building. I'm gonna pay for these Dr. Peppers. Yeah, you pay for those Dr. Peppers. Hang on. Y'all, it was Big Daddy. The guy that I... Why didn't you respond? Because you were right. Oh, it was Big Dad. I think I spooked him. Yo, you want to sing? You're on YouTube right now. You want to sing? Bro, you can sing. You need to change your life. You were running down the street. Hold on. I didn't have no sense. I swear to God, I did not script this or ask him to say that, and he literally said the most perfect thing that he could have possibly said that I could have possibly needed to hear to become a better person in that exact moment. So thank you, Big Daddy. Thank you. Aw, oh, man. That's Big Daddy right there, telling it to you straight. Y'all shouldn't be so surprised that God is black. I mean, have you never seen God Almighty? The movie. No, and the God. And Morgan Freeman. And the movie and the God. And the, 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 the. That's how it works. You can say literally multiple things at the same time. I'm saying a lot of things at the same time. God is black. You're telling me I need to change my life. And he's white. <laughs> you didn't see that one coming, did you? You know what Big Daddy's telling us all a message is to slow down, right? We all need to slow down. Now let me pause for a moment so I can preach. There's a problem in this country right now. And there's a problem in the whole world right now. Is that we have a God that is bigger than what you guys consider. Okay? <laughs> God is black and white at the same time. And y'all are like, that's not possible. You can't be here and be there at the same... God can do anything. God can literally do anything, even things he can't do. I have, like, literally, I'm having to break your brains right now. Because, because you guys are like a brand new baseball glove. You put on a brand new baseball glove, you know what happens? Rashes all over your hand. It hurts. It hurts so bad. My dad has a baseball glove... I hope he still has it. it. It's a legendary baseball glove. It, it, it's, it's like the baseball glove that he grew up with or something. And it was it was so broken in and it was so soft. And it was so easy to catch balls with that glove because it was so broken in. And using that glove was just way easier than using any of the new gloves that they gave me because the new gloves were f freaking hard. They, they just ripped up my hands. And then I would stick my hand in my dad's glove and it was like, whoa, why is this so soft? It's because my dad had used it so many times that it broke down and so that's what I have to do to you guys through the internet. I have to break your brains because some of y'all literally, yeah, yeah, this is the awakening we've all been waiting for. Some of y'all, you just can't seem to like get out of the shell like you're in a shell you know what i'm saying like there's a there's a bird who's who's given birth to babies and like some people have gotten out of the shell and like some of the rest of y'all have like not gotten out of the shell yet and here's the good news there there is no uh there's no other going back like <laughs> like like the the shell is generally going to crumble down or y'all are going to get out of the shell, and you'll just get out of the shell. But <laughs> everybody's here. We're all together. We all love each other. Everything's okay. Okay? Preach! Now, if that's not one of the most occult videos ever made. And I just did it literally, literally, with no preparation, no planning, no organization. Y'all, this is just me on my phone. I'm just a freaking YouTuber. I didn't even know I was going to make this video today. It's just something that happened. I mean, I literally just made it. I'm talking to you like, this is the funniest thing right now. I'm making the video as I talk to you right now. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I made this video. That's all I'm saying. And Big Daddy just gave me the message I need, that I needed to hear right now. And his name's Big Daddy. It's a metaphor for God. But that's actually his name. That's, that's a homeless man that uh, this 7-Eleven right here 
um, he was like cleaning up around the 7-Eleven, that homeless guy, Big Daddy. He's not homeless anymore. Uh, Cause he was actually helping out at 7-Eleven. They were like, why don't you just work here? So we got a job. <laughs> And then he turned his life around and now he sings in 7-Eleven and everyone loves him. We call him Big Daddy because he's everybody's Big Daddy. Now as for Lupe. This one goes out to you, girl. Yeah. Yeah. is an employee that does a stellar stellar job lupe is literally one of the greatest 7-eleven employees that 7-eleven has ever had literally if i am standing in line you go in there at 10 a.m there's a fucking line of people who just want to come say hi to lupe because she has such a beautiful smile she has a really pretty smile i don't think there's anything wrong with that <laughs> 